Well, now, tell us a little bit more about your personal background because we want to. I want to find out a little bit more about its context in relation to the film. Can you tell? You know, did you have? How long did you spend there? Have you spent much time there? Um, you know, no, what's your own history? Yeah, thanks. I was born in New York and uh, didn't grow up there. I've, I've, I've been there twice in my life. My husband has now been there more than me. <laughs> um, I've but you been, speak Iranian. I speak Farsi. Farsi. Uh, I don't read and write it so well. Actually, I don't read and write it. Um, and uh, so I've been there twice, and it's always been fascinating for me um, as a country, you know, both my parents being Iranian, lots of friends and family. Um, and the revolution in 1979 basically affected every single Iranian <laughs> that has ever uh, you know, lived during that time frame. And every single Iranian that's in this country has been affected by the politics of Iran and the US. So it's something that has always you know, just it's something I've carried along with me of, you know, for a long time. I'm not a sports nut at all and never thought I would produce a sports film. <laughs> well, that's one of the things that's interesting because you have also that sub uh, plot of the dynamic between him and his uh, girlfriend. Right. So you suddenly took the film into another direction by having that element into yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I really like that it, you, know, you don't have to be a sports fan to like the film. Uh, you can sort of, I think you get enough from the sports. I mean, if, you know, as we were editing, I was always like, okay, enough, you know, not too much of the basketball. And, and so, and I think for people who aren't into sports, that works. Well, actually, it's pretty remarkable because you don't really get into any explanation about anything to do with basketball other than the fact that they weren't that great. Right. <laughs> and um, but did you learn yourself about how he was able to get that team to to actually perform? Did you get the chance to ask him more about what th those challenges were? Yeah, I mean there were, you know, pretty big challenges in the film, and he, you know, he's just he has an incredible personality, and I think, with anything, if you work with people and you give them the time and attention that they really need, and the care that goes into you know coaching which is really what the coach didn't do, but Kevin did, Kevin kind of became the coach, um, then they will shine, you know, and so, and that's really what he did with them, is he, uh, you know, very quickly he realized who he can work with and who he can forget and, and was able to work with them. And it's, it's really interesting that you even have that epilogue of the fact that he did go back, right. he did become one of the best players, and, uh, you know, it had a, a power to the story that sort of added a, the final touch, and you wouldn't have known that was going to happen. Right. Have you stayed in touch with him much? Yeah, we are in touch with him. Uh, he was really supportive of the film when we had our um, festival premiere, and he came out a couple of times and did lots of press. And so um, everything's going well with him. He's running this camp uh, for disenfranchised youth, this after-school program. And if anybody is interested in donating to the camp, um, let me know, uh, because he is trying to raise money constantly. Where was your festival premiere? Uh, Los Angeles Film Festival. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have thought maybe it, uh, you didn't want to have it in New York? You, you didn't find uh, a festival here in New York? But... Yeah, they didn't take us. Well, we'll have to talk to them about that. But um, has it been seen in Iran, or has, has, have you been able to find, uh, have anybody? And how about the people that were in the film? Did they see it? Um, so. About two years ago when we were finishing the film, it's kind of a long answer to this, but about two years ago when we were trying to finish the film, we decided to do a Kickstarter campaign to raise the completion funds. And nobody had seen anything. You know, We hadn't put a trailer out. We put, hadn't put a teaser out. There was no information out about the film. And so we contacted everybody, including Kevin, and said, we're going to put this five-minute teaser out there. Can you review it and let us know if you're OK with it being online? It might be that 10 people see it. It might be that 10,000 people see it. We have no idea how the response is going to be. And so the women and everybody you know, agreed to it and said, fine. And um, in fact, the, the whole campaign did really well. And it went viral. And CNN did an interview with Kevin. And it, was a, you know, it turned out to be kind of a big deal. Um, the women were obviously worried about um, being in the film if it was broadcast anywhere outside of the US. And now with the internet, everything is broadcast everywhere. Of course, Iranians don't have access to Netflix. Um, but, so, so, but they do have internet access. And with a certain you know, 
I don't know, VPN, or they have certain technology which to override breaks the, the, yeah, the, the over, yeah. yeah. And um, so the women were concerned about that, but they still said, go ahead and put the trailer up. And then when it went up, and then when CNN did this interview with Kevin, a hardline website in Iran came out with a really? article calling the film the anti-Islam film. Whoa, really? <laughs> How could they interpret this as anti-Islam? Well, not even the film. The teaser, oh, the, the five-minute oh teaser, God. they called it the anti-Islam film. And that's because the women are in the film without their headscarves, and Lale has this line that says, I don't believe in Islam. I still don't understand how that's anti-Islam, but anyway. So um, then the women got very scared, and um, Lale had been thinking about going overseas at that point to study IT. and. Hilda had been thinking about going to the UK um, to study physical therapy, to continue her physical therapy studies. And Lale was the most worried, and she basically expedited her trip and went within days of that article. Really? Left her family. And uh, Hilda left within months and went to the UK and now has political asylum in the UK. So that's. I mean, they're they're both okay, and and since then we've shown them. And the, the third woman. Oh, so Ella has stayed in Iran. Actually, that's a really important point because we've then just since shown them the feature length, and they've all agreed to uh, being in the film. And they, you know, we we gave them the option: we can blur your faces, you know, we can exit out. Worst comes to worst, we can take your out. I mean, we. That would have been devastating had we taken any of them out. But if they really didn't want to be in it, then we had to respect that. And they all said, "Just leave us in, um, because this is we didn't do anything out of the ordinary. These women didn't do anything remarkable. The only remarkable thing they did was let us put it in the film." And so, um, so Elahe, the one who wanted to be a movie star, we've tried to contact her a number of times. Actually, not recently, but over the past few years, we've tried to contact her a few times, and no response. And then we got an email from somebody saying they were her friend and that we should stop contacting her because every time we try to call her or send an email, she gets taken in for questioning. Really? Wow. And her family, apparently, and again, this is a rumor, we have no idea, apparently her family has been banned from leaving the country. Wow. So that's really frustrating. And so that's another reason why it's important to raise the awareness. In case something does happen, then you know there's an awareness out there where we can make Even with noise. the new regime? Yeah, the, the, the new regime is not a new regime, unfortunately. It's a new president right. uh, who, who was allowed to run by the regime. Uh, and while he made some amazing first gestures, uh, n nothing much has happened. And I don't think anybody is expecting that much change.